As a wig maker that focuses on raw hair, I have done a lot of research in order to identify and recognize bad raw hair vendor so that we don't keep wasting our money on products that's advertised as raw charged as raw and when you end up getting this product is not actually raw i'm also going to tell you how i'm able to rate them so that you can do this all by yourself by just looking at their instagram page hi my name is Uri. going to be starting with the first bad raw hair vendor is k hair factory I still don't understand why they're still in business because the way their hair tangles is beyond recognition. The hair is so bad, I don't even understand why people still buy their hair. To put it out there that this all what I'm going to tell you today is not based on just my opinion. It's based on people bringing their bundles to me to make their wig and they as well complain about the longevity or how bad the hair has been. I've done a lot of research by going on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Google, everything. And I've gathered all these vendors, these five vendors, because they are top on the list of frequent reviews and they are also backed up by my own personal use. So I had my own cons about the company, look at what other people have said about the company and then I've brought this on here so that some people can avoid. We're going to talk about the most important part of hair. So I'm not going to be talking about pricing in this video. I'm not going to be talking about shipping. I'm not going to be talking about customer service because I believe that even if there's a bad customer service and the hair is good, you'll probably be able to work with that. But when the hair is completely bad, that's where the issue is. Now for KF Factory, they're allegedly a Chinese company that have then moved to Vietnam to get Vietnamese customers. So they're not really from Vietnam. So obviously that means that they are mixing their hair with Chinese hair and then Vietnamese hair. So I'm not hundred percent sure with this information, but the way I'm looking at it, I think I agree. The story time, a client brought their hair. It was a colored hair. Um, she said it was, she bought it raw, but she asked them to color it guys. The hair was so bad that as I was combing the hair, it was just matting. Like it was like a clump. I didn't understand it. And thank God that I haven't actually installed the wig or make the wig. So it was still in its bundles. And I had to send a video to my customer like, okay, I don't understand this hair. Like, why is this still? I, I'll put a video up here if I still have it because it's been a while. Why is this hair like this? And she said, oh, that she found this vendor on Instagram. I made it into a wig for her. It rained and she couldn't wear the wig again. That was how bad the hair was. Like, she was pulling it apart because it was tangling so much and she felt embarrassed. So she just dumped it in the bin. So that is how bad the hair is. Saying you're buying raw hair and it tangles so much, then that is obviously not true. Also, if you go to their comment section, like their comment section, I'm going to put it on here. Like, even if you scroll down to the last of the last, there is, there are no comments on their like comment page. Like everything is zero. Like nobody's commenting on your page. That is a red flag because if your hair is that good, you you would not be monitoring your comment section that way. It's so obvious that some of these comments have been removed or deleted, um, allegedly, because if they are not, then why is it that? there are no comments on your page with those massive followers so for me that is a big red flag for you to watch out for next one on my list for the bad hair vendors is an air this is not in a in a particular order i'm just throwing it out there and there are all the five lists that i have and hair for me is just is a eat or miss so um some people said that it's good but when they said it it was like two years ago three years ago but people recently and from my experience their hair is not good like it's not good at all it was shedding so bad it went through some tests and it was shedding I've actually seen anyone talk about how good the hair is and that is a red flag for me if i'm searching a vendor and it's coming up by the way i have um a list on how to know um vendors how to find raw hair vendors how to know raw hair vendors if you're really unsure about this process but in this video i was able to break down the exact steps in order to be able to find and know raw hair vendors but anyway just to summarize it on here if i'm doing my research and you're coming up at at least if I write a list of number of times I found people complaining about you, that's a red flag for me. I'm not going to try and test or anything because the money is not free. The wig is not going to come to me for free. So I'm not going to do that. If any 
air vendor that you feel like oh no the vendor is good the vendor is amazing let me know in the comment section because i am happy to hear other people's thoughts as well also another thing that i noticed for their instagram page because instagram page always gives me that vibe like okay or no k is the fact that their comments is limited like when i see limited comments it just tells me that there's a problem. It just tells me there's an issue. It just tells me you're hiding something. It just tells me you don't want your customers to talk to me. It tells me everything. I just like, I run whenever I see a limited comment section. Another one of the bad raw hair vendors that I have found is Ada Hair. So by the way, before I move on, I just wanted to let you know, this list is focusing on Vietnamese vendors. If you like to have this as a series where you want Indian vendors, you want Chinese vendors please let me know in the comment section and I'm gonna share my view on the all of the vendors that I have used and I'm gonna also do my research on them because like I said just my opinion doesn't count I don't say hey that hair like that hair for me is terrible I'm sorry like I see some people talk about how good it is but it's not good at all this is one of the hair that I am testing um I don't really like it it's not great but it's still wearable I could not wear it that hair it just wasn't wearable for me wearing it out i just felt a bit embarrassed like because i was scared of the matting that it was like clumps and i just didn't i didn't even i was so angry at myself because i felt like i've reviewed it and i could see the red flags but i still went with it and this was this is why i decided not to actually just go with things i need to go with my guts when i'm spending my money the tangling was bad it was matting it was shedding i didn't like it the closure was really bad they said they were gonna send me hd they sent me swiss i didn't even bother going to back to them i just left it because there was no point with the back and forth conversation and the, i'm really upset because this was on my old phone and i changed move all of my whatsapp messages to my new phone and i couldn't find all these old messages so i wish i was able to show you on here now moving on the next one is green hair to be honest i feel like green hair are like multiple companies allegedly because i'm not 100 percent sure but i feel like they have different type of companies i know they have reps which i feel sometimes the reps are the ones that actually ruin all of these businesses because if you go directly to the source sometimes you get a better hair but if you go to some of the reps some of the rep actually mix they mix the hair as well i don't know why they probably sell you buy raw hair they will sell you virgin and say it's raw maybe to get more discount i don't understand for but for green hair i know that there are quite a few reps um if this is wrong i'm just gonna put it here because hair is not nothing to write home about i did not like it it was shedding it was breaking it also had this weird smell that no matter how much it was washed it was just smelling funny the instagram there are no comments except their comment that i find that so odd like and they, you could tell that their comment section is really really monitored it's like they have someone there that's literally monitoring any comments that come in so the, i think they've realized that they've realized this comment limited that some people are aware that you having comment limited is not a good thing so they leave it open but they are monitoring every comments that come underneath their comments so i know that not all companies get comments but trust me at least you'll get one or two comments from like a year or two ago but if there are no comments at all then to me that's a red flag now the next one is Viet Link. they are so popular and i don't understand why because i think it's the ease of the way that you could buy from them i think it's so easy to get hair from them they reply you so quickly and i'm guessing the reason they do so is because so they're able to get paypal the ease of it so i feel like that's a go-to for especially new beginners or new wearers of like vietnamese hair because to me their hair is not nice there's a lot of fibers in their hair if you don't know what i'm talking about check this video out i have videos showing you the exact thing i'm saying so in there i'm not talking about gray hair that's been colored to be red no i'm talking about proper fibers there are a lot of like synthetic fibers in their hair that and obviously because of this this kind of tangles i had a point where i was curling one of the hair this i didn't buy it with my money but i've had few customers bring them to me so i feel like it's so easy to get for a retail for like customers they just quick it's so easy so and i tried to curl one of the hair and oh my goodness it was melting it was actually melting and i could not understand why it was 
I was like, what kind of hair is this? And she said, Viet Link. I was like, ooh. And the thing is, I try not to ask all my customers that, what, it, where is your hair from? Because I don't want to get that buyer's view as soon as they bring their hair because I'm interested. Sometimes I see a nice hair and I'm like, oh, this hair is nice. And if they're willing to tell me that it's fine, if not, it's okay, we keep it moving. But the thing is, when it comes to bad hair, I will just let you know that, okay, I don't think your hair is that great. And most times when people hear that, they're like, oh yeah, I got this hair from Instagram and they show me the page. And sometimes it usually falls within Viet Link or K hair. I don't know why. I think it's just the ease of being able to buy the hair from them. They don't actually sell raw hair. The next bad hair vendor I'm going to talk about is High Virgo, High Virgo Hair. Now, High Virgo Hair is actually very popular like Viet Link, I think because of the ease of buying. The High Virgo Hair and the last one I'm going to talk about, they, they actually are just there if you don't mind just wearing something more affordable, something that you can wear and you don't mind wearing it for six months. It's not something I'm going to spend a lot of money on. Times the pricing are quite deceptive and you're paying a raw hair price for hair that is actually not raw and that is what angers me the most. Like, I get so upset when I tell you I want raw hair for testing and you come to me with virgin hair and you're telling me uh, one vendor does that. I have the video on here if you want to catch that review. It actually does that a lot. But anyway, moving on. You can buy it if you want to, but just know that with the intention that the hair is not going to last long and the hair is not going to be raw. Moving on to the next bad raw hair vendor is B Lady Hair. Now, B Lady Hair, from what I can see, I believe they are the same vendors. They're the same company with Ivergo Hair because what they do is their pictures are so similar. They share the same pictures. I also believe that allegedly they're Chinese companies that they have gone to Vietnam to be able to take that business on. And I know that on their Instagram page, like yeah, at one point during my research, I was like, wait, is this Virgo or is this B Lady? Because it was so similar. All in all, they sell the same kind of hair. So it's the same hair being shared with a different label. So these are all the bad raw vendors that I've spoken about for Vietnam. There's so many, so many, so many. If I keep if I keep it on, this video will be too long and I don't want it to be too long. But like I said previously, I want to do this as a series. So if you want a part two of this, um, there's so many more. You can even get to a part seven at this point. <laughs> But if you want a part two of this Vietnam um, bad raw hair vendor from Vietnam, if you want a series on this with different origin, please let me know in the comment section and I am happy to. Thank you so much for watching. If you do have any questions, please let me know. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts, let me know what you like me to do, let me know what you like to see. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.